Hi everyone, happy Friday. Um, so I had noted on my community page a few weeks ago that Dover ran a really good sale on some, it was like half price for um, some of their animal related books. And I, you know, of course, inevitably when I say I'm not gonna buy any more coloring books, thus comes an opportunity to buy coloring books. And uh, a lot of their books that I've been looking at in particular, their color by numbers were half off. And as I've said, I love the Creative Haven color by number series in particular. So any opportunity, because those are usually priced at $10, any opportunity I can get to get those uh, half off is a great deal because that I feel like they are well worth it at that price. So on top of that, of course, I bought some other books and um, bought quite a few books from Dover because that's just, I guess, who I am as a person. So the next few weeks, you're gonna see quite a few Dover books um, as I work my way through them. Uh, we have four of them today I did purchase on that sale. Um, I did also wanna sneak in the latest issue of Coloring Heaven magazine that I got. Um, I like, you know, I'm, I like all the issues I get from them, but this in particular, as I've seen um, it make the rounds on YouTube, is one I've really, really been looking forward to and um, might actually gasp, break out my colored pencils for this one. So, so let's go ahead and get started. We're actually going to go ahead and start with the Coloring Heaven magazine. And Seb ran off because apparently she didn't want to sit here and listen to me talk. All right. So, um, like I said, this is the latest issue for Coloring Heaven. This is a UK-based um, company, Anthem Publishing, which uh, for those of in the US usually means we get the issues a little bit later than everybody else. So you've probably already seen this one, as I noted, um, but I still want to, uh, I was really, like I said, excited to get this one. And um, so, yeah. We're just going to flip through this. It is a little bit larger than a, like an eight and a half by 11 lengthwise. It's a little bit taller, um, but overall it, um, yeah, is basically your average size kind of coloring book uh, format. So there's just one artist in this one this month. Um, as you saw on the front, Kanoko Agusa. Hopefully I, that that's okay. <laughs> the way I said that, um, there are 40 designs in here. I am not familiar with Kanoko. Um, I actually, I am familiar with them because I do have Rhapsody in the, I ha do have both of these books here. So, um, other than that though, I haven't really, ha don't really have any, uh, other books or anything by this artist, but I do love how those books look. And again, super excited to have this in a, larger format like this because the books are a little smaller plus these are single pages so hello you know markers for marker fans like me this is this is uh this is always the best so let me zoom in i do apologize if i seem rather scattered as i noted in my wednesday color and chat it has been it has been tumultuous much was I don't um who knows anyway past few months it has been a rough past few months there we go here I go trying to be fancy and use big words um but uh I'll go ahead and start flipping through this love this first page just love it love it love just everything about it the the ducks the geese I guess that's a that's a goose uh the bird the cat just all of it so there are 40 images and it looks like some of these are landscaped. We're going to have to play a little bit with the zoom in and out just to make sure you guys can see all of these pictures. Oh, there we go. Get a good look at them. You can buy single issues of the Coloring Heaven magazines. Um, actually, let me do one thing. There we go where I've been playing with those markers was really like, I don't know that particular, it's 
splash of color down there was really bugging me. Um, you can buy single issues of this on the Anthem Publishing site. I do anticipate this is going to sell out very quickly if it hasn't already. Um, I will still put a link to the Anthem site in the, um, in the description of this video. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. But it has been a rough few months for me. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I do kind of catch everybody up on what all has been happening. And um, this week in particular has been also kind of a rough week as I've been transitioning to a new role at work. And, um, oh, it's too cute. Like, I mean, there's just no other, there's no other word for this. Other than just beautiful art. I really do. I love it. This might be my favorite Coloring Heaven magazine that I've seen. Yeah. I feel pretty confident in that statement. But, um, the Hannah Carl's on one was really nice too. But this one, I just, I absolutely love it. But, anyway, um, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there's a little bit of a pattern there. Maybe it's the light. It might just be the light itself. Hmm. Just chilling out. That cat, just all those birds and frogs and mice just sitting there. And that rabbit and that cat just gives zero crap about it. Is that a seal? That's adorable. But, um... Anyway, yeah, it's just, my brain's fried. It's been a long week. I'm not feeling, I haven't felt very productive today. <laughs> Next week, things are going to really need to shift up into gear. So I'm going to try to take this weekend to rest and recuperate. You know, the little like shawl, like the little handkerchief and the purse. My problem is figuring out which one of these I want to do first. I liked that one a lot. The donuts and cookies picture. I like that one a lot. This would be really neat with the, like the reflection and everything. <laughs> like I said, you know it's serious when I'm talking about busting out some colored pencils, which other than I think coloring with my Black Widows in my what's it called? Wicked Plants coloring book. Um, I really just haven't done that much of, which is crazy because I have the Arteza 120 set. I have the Arteza 120 set um, I went and got because I do love the Arteza products. I still have my um why can't I think of their name? Why can't I think of their name? Castle Art. I still have my Castle Art, like, 120 set. I haven't even touched. And we're just not going to talk about all the other colored pencils I have that are just kind of sitting there. So, I think because I've taken so much of a hiatus from coloring in these last, you know, three to four months, that, um... I've been more, I, markers are easier for me, but it's also just the concern that, you know, over time my markers might dry out, so I should use those first, but like my colored pencils will stay there, you know, they'll be fine if I take a break from coloring, but my markers are going to be more apt to dry out, and I don't want that obviously to happen, so that is another reason I haven't been reaching for my colored pencils so much but obviously something I would like to change. Oh, that's lights. I'm not exactly being very speedy with this today, am I? I don't know. Am I ever speedy in these? It's got like little bitty bats around it. 
I'm thinking mums and stuff and pumpkins and everything. This is a good autumn Halloween picture right here. Oh my gosh. So they're like little almost cutouts. You can make like if you had little paper dolls or paper animals, I guess. I wonder if you could like put these over the cat. You probably could and then put these over the squirrel. Oh my gosh. That's 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 a cute idea. Oh my goodness. Are those what are those? They look, are they apples? I guess they're apples. They're really big apples. For a minute there I was like, are those pumpkins? But I think they're apples. That would be a fun picture. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do know this is probably going to be the next picture I start. Now, whether I do it on camera or not, I don't know. Um, I don't know yet. Since it will probably be taking place mostly here at my desk. Oh, see, we've got, oh, there goes my mic. Got seasonal pictures in here, just perfect. It's still technically, I guess, winter, so I, if I was feeling, really feeling winter right now, I would grab one of these pictures, but man, I am ready for winter to be over. Not that it's been, like, horrifically cold here. I mean, it's been a very mild winter, but still, I'm kind of over it. I'm over the back and forth. It is really messing with my allergies. There's a little bit of page bending here at the very back corner but I don't think it's going to affect this. So I'm thinking if I do a page, it will probably be this one with the donuts and cookies. Or it might be that very first one. That one just totally caught my eye. Oh, it'd be a good opportunity to bring out, like, I have Koenor, like, tricolor pencils, too, and whatever they're called, tritones, what what have you um and i haven't been using those either so this would be a good opportunity this would be a great spring picture so might be this one anyway that is that one now let's get into the dover books the rest of these are going to be horses and birds <laughs> so if you're a fan of horses or a fan of birds this is your flip through friday video um the rest of these books are creative haven um, series which is all single-sided perforated pages um, medium quality paper and um, a letter size books like just average height and width on coloring books this is dream horses by Marjorie Sarnet we all know how much of a fan I am of Marjorie's uh, work and um, there are just a few of her books that I don't have in my collection that I just, again, usually pick up if they're on sale, if, like, they're not just have to have. So, um, this one was one of those. I think this came out last year. For the basic Creative Haven books, they typically have 31 illustrations in them as well. So, there's a peek at the back cover. They usually have one of the pages completed on the front and the back, uh, like inspirational type pictures. I love this one. This reminds me of the horse in Rainbow Bright, and I can't think of its name. Oh, I can't believe that. I was such a huge Rainbow Bright fan as a kid. You'd think I'd remember that. I've mentioned this before. Here's the title page, and then Usually you get your copyright page with a little excerpt here. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but like I was a huge fan of Rainbow Bright when I was little. And I loved the Rainbow Bright movie. And um, I went back and watched that as an adult. The an Well, I don't know how many there were, but like the, the movie, the, I guess the most talked about one. And I uh, went back and watched it as an adult, and I'm like, you know, this is kind of dark. It's that whole 80s, really dark kind of childhood movie thing uh, rearing its ugly head again. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, and I was seeing that, that, I cannot believe I can't think of that horse's name. I'm sure somebody will say it in the comments. I'll probably have to go Google that after I'm done. 
most of her work has um, usually a frame around it. I do like this frame is kind of mixed in with the background as well. I think that's a really neat touch. You actually see it kind of happening here as well. I like that bleed over into the border look on some of these. She has a very flowy style and I, you can really see it in this one. Her books, as I've said, are some of those that I, I admire. One of my first, one of my still favorite pictures to this day is from her Creative Cats book I did um, a picture out of. And um, so I, you know, again, one of my favorite artists, but oh my goodness, her work can be for somebody like me that doesn't, you know, often want to do detail work her work can be a bit intimidating just because there is so much detail to it but i still love her work and i love her books even if they scare me a little <laughs> well sid might be making a appearance not my friend today. I also slept horribly last night. It took me forever to go to sleep. And then I do like in her books too she incorporates some of the animals a lot of times or uh, like fairies or angels or something from her other books into uh, some of her images as well and I like that. I like she does that. But no, it just took me forever to go to sleep. And then this morning, Maggie woke me up with yowling for like the third or fourth night in a row. Oh, I really like this one. This will probably be the first one I tackle in this one. I'm really being drawn to like the spring pictures and the warm, like sunny beach type pictures right now. Feels like it's done nothing but just be rain and clouds and just yucky kind of not freezing cold weather every day not super hot weather just kind of just blech. you know I I don't know quite damp everything just feels damp and soggy and just at least the humidity is not high enough that it um, is just muggy and gross. I mean, I guess just be grateful for something. At least it's, you know, not muggy and gross like that, too. Um, but, yeah, I am just, I am ready for some consistent sun, which it looks like we might actually be getting today. The cats are so desperate for it. Like, they're, they're just right up against the window. <laughs> like, the windows that the sun actually comes in during the day, they're, like, right up against those windows trying to soak up every bit they can get. So I've been looking at this one for a while. Birds are one of those creatures that I'm actually kind of a fan of, but I don't... I don't know. Like, I'm drawn to bird-type books and stuff like that, and I love seeing, like, my little bird feeders and stuff outside, but... Um, I'd like to get more into coloring birds, which is one of the reasons I got this. This is by Dot Barlow. And then there is the back. If you're not familiar with Creative Haven books, they normally retail for $5.99 US. Um, but looking between Dover and Amazon, oftentimes, like, I would take the books that you're really drawn to, and I would put them on a wish list and I keep an eye on them because a lot of times I have found books pop up for sale and get marked down on Amazon without any real notice that it happens so like I check between the two sites because sometimes they're marked down on Amazon and not on Dover site and then the other way around so 
a lot of the books I do pre-order, um, I, they knock off a little bit of the price, and then, um, like I said, it's, I, it's not very often I pay full price for a Dover book, um, because they're really good about sales and stuff. So here's the blurb, little, uh, paragraph about it. Here's the copyright, and here we get started with this. This book is nice because... If you look here, let me zoom in. And play with the focus, not that way. What happens if I auto focus? <laughs> not much better. Um, anyway, it names what type of birds they are and just describes the scene. So I think that's really cool. This will probably be a book that I stay pretty true, like I try to stay true to the colors, so I'll look these birds up on Google and try to color them according to their natural colors, kind of like I do with the Wicked Plants book. So I'm not going to tell you what each of these birds are because that would take a long time, but we do have some landscape ones as well. Hi, Annie. She is dying to cry. Annie is still very skittish. And until she gets, like, really, really desperate for attention, she wants to uh, raise up on, like, the side of my leg and then dig her claws into my leg. She wants me to pet her. She wants me to pay attention to her. But, um... She doesn't want to act actively jump into my lap until, you know, I've ignored her long enough that she just doesn't have a choice. This does have pretty dark line art in some of the pictures, so the line art's not, like, I guess, super duper consistent on the different pictures, so if that bugs you, this may not be the book for you. I don't, I don't mind it myself, so... But, um, anyway, it's really painful when she does that. <laughs> These are monk parakeets. I knew they were parakeets. I was just trying to figure out what kind. Sorry for the shadow. Anyway, the way she digs her claws into my legs, I have, like, all these little pinpricks all on the sides of my legs from where she does that. And she'll meep and she'll carry on. If I can catch her before she runs off and pick her up and put her in my lap, she'll stay in my lap if I'm petting her. So it's not like she's necessarily fighting me when I put her in the lap, my lap. I think these are probably finches. Yep, it's a house finch. But um, she just, I don't know, she just doesn't jump up here except, like I said, in just extreme I'm ignoring her kind of situations, which honestly I'm surprised she hasn't done yet. I think this one's from the front cover, which is um, Cardinals, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I love Cardinals and Golden Finches. Those are the birds that I see um, most frequently out here that aren't just like, you know, you're blackbirds and your crows and, and that kind of stuff. So I have a surprising number of cardinals. I haven't seen them as much this year. Normally during the winter, I mean, male and female cardinals, I see quite a bit of around here. Ooh, that's a cool, that's a cool shot. Maybe not for the mouse, but <laughs> it's a pretty cool pretty cool scene nonetheless. Annie's getting braver. Especially with me. Oh my gosh. She will crawl on me on the bed at night 
And if I happen to be, if I happen to go back to bed on the weekends, like after I feed the cats, she will just sprawl all over me. I think it was Sunday she got up there, and uh, if I shift, she'll she'll move, but then she'll come back once I uh, get settled. Sunday she uh, the closest she's laid up on my chest and put her paws like right on my mouth. I was laying flat on my back. It was very cute, but she is also rather um, uh, nervous. <laughs> So, didn't want her to spook while she was doing that, or else my lips would have, and my chin would have gotten torn up. Now, this is cool. On the back cover, instead of having, like, a completed uh, picture, it goes through each of the pictures, explaining what they are, and it also talks about what colors, uh, like a color guide for them. This is a really nice touch. Um, I mean, I would still Google it, but it's really neat to... Um, see color suggestions as well on here so that's a really nice touch i like that all right now we're getting to the color by number yes hi annie we're talking about you you gonna come here oh i got her i got her she's in my lap now she's acting like this is not where she wanted to be you want to get up on the desk She'll probably get up on the desk in a minute, unless she leaves. This is Horses Color by Number by George Tufexis. Um, are both of these color by numbers? Yes, they're both by George Tufexis, which um, is, I think, their main color by number artist, but there are some others. Um, the next group of books I do will have a dog color by number um, by a different artist, so they do have a variety of artists. What's neat about the color by numbers is that um, there are actually, is it 46? Oh, here she comes. It's a rare Annie sighting on camera. Um, 46, okay. I couldn't remember if it's 46 or 48. Um, they, they do put a lot more pictures than these. The George II Fexus ones in particular are incredibly complex and detailed. Um, so they are, I would say, if you're not a patient person, these are probably not going to be ideal for you. But if you like color by number and you like a challenge, as I've said before, I, I would highly recommend his books. And again, for $5, this is a heck of a deal, in my opinion. So um, with his books, they do a legend on the front cover. Excuse me. What I like to do usually is get a piece of paper. And I have one over here. I think I know which book it belongs to, but it got loose on me. Where'd it go? I will take a sheet of paper and I will pull the markers that I think closely match this and I'll write down which markers they are. So in the future, if I come back to a color, another one of these pages, I already know which markers would match these the best. I usually use markers for these or like fine liners or gel pens for the really tiny places. Um, this is like a letter-sized book. This describes the book itself, tips and techniques. Um, talks about uh, the eye and lip colors. In this case, don't a lot of them have no number, but there are standard colors. Um, horses usually have brown eyes, but you can make them any color you want to. Um, and just tips and techniques on these. So. Now, these may be a little hard to see. One of the, well, depending on how you feel about it, um, his color by number books generally tend to have more gray lines than like really dark line art, which for a lot of people is a bonus because um, when you color it, the lines aren't as prevalent. You can't see the numbers as much. Um, and everything gets covered up more. But um, for somebody like me who already struggles with eyesight issues, um, these can be, again, a bit of a challenge. And uh, the numbers are generally really small too. So I would suggest maybe a magnifying glass. A lot of times when I am coloring his images, I can't color these like in the living room like I can a lot of like the large print color by numbers. 
these are ones I typically have to do in here under this light. And if you see me coloring these a lot of times, you'll see the top of my head because I'm doing the, uh, you know, getting as close to the picture as I can so I can see what I'm doing. <sighs> Loving these types of books is not ideal for somebody with not so great eyesight. I guess it's even more of a challenge for me per se. But you've seen me finish a number of his books. They are like when the pictures are done, they are they do just look incredible. They really do. And this was one of one of them that I think the pictures are great, but it wasn't a I got to run out and get this now kind of book, but again, at $5, I just wasn't going to pass it up. What are you doing, Annie? Hang on. Quick fuzz pet break. Yeah. What a good girl sitting up here on the desk being all sociable. Yes. Can I? Say hello. Say hello. Quick pet break. I see your fuzzies. I see your fuzzies. Say hi. I don't know if you can hear her. No, she's probably not close enough to the mic. Oh, there's her waggy tail. Why are you being so camera shy? Normally they're stomping all over the freaking book. She's like, I'm a good girl. I wouldn't do such a thing. I'm a lady. Mm. I find that highly suspicious behavior. I would have snuck in a few more books today, but like I said, these colored by numbers um, are pretty, they are, they're very substantial books, so. And I wanted to do a video today. Um, but I am not feeling as productive as I had hoped this morning. A lot of back and forth here <laughs> on the landscape and such. Are we sure there's only 46 images in this? It feels like there's so many more. And of course, while there's numbers on here, you could, you know, theoretically color these however you want. His color scheme generally tends to lean more towards realistic. A more realistic kind of painted look about it when it's all said and done. A lot of good pops of color. Like I said, if you, I have colored a, at least a couple of his pictures on camera. The cats, there was a cats one, um, not his cat's coloring book. Oh gosh, what was that book? Was his Christmas color by number book. But it was a picture of a cat, and I think I did that one. That was my most recent one. So I hope that everyone has a great weekend. I think I'm going to post a just small little cat video tomorrow. I recorded one on Thursday where um, Leroy was doing what I call his cave goblin. Uh, he was in his cave goblin mode and rooting around under the blankets. I like that. That one's going to look really pretty with the spots. And there were some other cats on the bed, and I figured it was going to be a rather dramatic moment, but it actually wasn't. It was, I think he knew he was surrounded, and thus 
said, nah, -uh, not happening. He also does landscapes really well. Like this one's going to be a really neat picture. This might be the first one I do in here. I kind of like this one too, though. Not going to lie. I mean, I like them all, but those two in particular were ones that I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want to color those first. I like this one with the desert scene. And I like that one too. Oh, decisions, decisions. There's just not enough time nor energy for me. And he does show little thumbnails of the completed pictures as well in his books, which I really like. And finally... Another George Two Faxes, like I said, it's going to be all birds and horses today. Weird combination, I know, but, you know, that's just how we roll up in here. Quick, quick fuzz break. Because she is sitting here rather patiently and behaving and trying to step on the keyboard. And probably delete my video. Nope, nope. It's like she knows the camera's there. No, 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 don't step on my keyboard. What are you doing? She's ready to go. She just needed an exit. There you go. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Now, how to get by Leroy without getting smacked. I finally opened the window. It was like 19 degrees when I got up this morning. This is, you know, we're actually in a cold, uh, cold snap. And uh, this is birds color by number. Let's go ahead and do this before I get to talking because we know how I am. 46 pictures again in here. These are all featuring birds. We've got our legend again and thumbnails. Ooh, that one with like the pink and the blue in the sky looks really neat. Ooh, I like that blue J one too with all the... Very pretty pictures. Here's another intro and tips and techniques. Again, um, I like to use markers and I run into trouble because I like to use markers because there's so many small spaces. Um, so I do get some bleeding. You've seen it happen. Um, even when I get to my fine tips and stuff. So for some people, really sharp colored pencils might be the way to go to these. If you just if the bleeding on the markers like really bugs you and you just maybe have a shaky hand <laughs> like me um, I've just gotten stubborn about it and been like whatever um, the pictures have always turned out really nice even when I'm kind of freaking out because things are you know the markers are bleeding into other areas um, I've always had it turn out nice so over time I have learned to try to be a little more comfortable with it because I know the end result's just going to be awesome. Oh, these do have the names of the birds in the little in the little uh, crease. There was nothing in the crease on the horse's book. I just want to make sure I didn't miss that. This blue jay one might be it. That might be. I really liked the colors on that one. But, um, yeah, gel pens, really fine, super fine tip or ultra fine markers might be the way to go, too, for these. If you're still like me and you're stubborn about using markers. I don't think, for me, like, watercolor pencils or watercolor would be a good idea for these just because I, I am not, uh, I do not have a steady hand and... These are so, like, all of these are different numbers in on this tree trunk. And just even using pencils and water, I just know I wouldn't be. That would really stress me out. Like, marker bleed bothers me a little, but the watercolor bleed that would happen because I'm not super steady with them would drive me crazy. So, yeah, you probably won't see me using any sort of watercolor effect on these. 
maybe water-based markers. I haven't tried those just like, like my super tips or my Crayola super tips or like my Arteza real brush pens or something I might would try because I can get a little more. I, I have a steadier hand with those, but like anything that would require me to use my water brush, nah, you probably won't see that in his books. So I like a challenge. I like these books, but who boy that is. I also know when something's going to really stress me out and that is going to stress me out. So best for everyone if, what type of bird is that? Baltimore Oreo. 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 Not Oreo, Michelle. And like I said, Dover, I mean, they have some really good sales. You just, um, what I would do and what I'm going to put down um, in the description is a link to their Facebook page. I would follow their Facebook page. Um, that is actually where I found out about the, the sale. And um, they post their sales on there frequently. They've got one right now. I think it's like 70% off certain books. And uh, I went and looked and there wasn't really anything that jumped out at me. Um, this sale wasn't anything in particular for any particular holiday or anything. This was just, it was like a 50% off animal related books and like I said when I looked um, a lot of the bird and horses and even uh, there were quite a few cat books that were marked down and I and I was like I've got snagged these up as we all do when we say we're not gonna buy any more coloring books I do have an Amazon gift card that I need that I want to use towards some coloring books. I'm just trying to decide what I want to get. I'm kind of leaning towards Fairy Celebrations. I had pre-ordered that when it hit Amazon, but there was some really weird thing where like it just went weeks went by and I never got it. And so I just went ahead and canceled the order. I had a couple things do that last uh, late last year. I actually ordered a set of the Derwent Color Soft pencils too. And it, it was the same thing like they just never showed up and it had been like a month and so I canceled the order because nobody could even find it like it hadn't even been shipped yet so I'm thinking that um, Sun Life Drawing just put out a new book that um, looks interesting there's some other books on my list I don't know what I'm going to do yet I'm going to try to stick closely to what to the gift card balance though and not try not to get too wild and crazy with it. Oh you've actually got um is that supposed to be a fox or that one? A lynx maybe? I don't know. But there's there's your bird. You got other animals <laughs> apparently in some of these, which is cool. It would be cool um, if he did a book like just just wildlife as a whole. So rather than just featuring one particular animal, he'd have multiple animals in the picture. He's got quite a few landscape books. Um, I did get his City Sites book recently. I did just go ahead and get that at full price because I is one of those things I've been wanting it for a while, and I was just like, "Dad, blame it. We're just getting it." But. He's done landscapes, he's done cityscapes, um, animal specific books like this. I love them all. He's done like a gardens book. There's something really weird on this page and I don't know what it is. But um, that would be cool to see like a wildlife, an overall wildlife kind of thing where, you know, in one you have a desert scene with a couple different desert type animals and in another, um, like an ocean scene and just instead of one particular animal have multiple animals I really like this hummingbird too I have not seen the completed picture that'll be in the back I think but sorry the cord to my camera has come loose and it's being obnoxious oh no 
Oh, I've got one of those too. I've got, I've had a woodpecker back wrecking my trees at the back of my property for a few years. So I do know one of those is, at least one of those is back there. So, okay. So here's the finished pictures here. Oh my gosh, the owl looks so cool. Where's the hummingbird? Where'd you go? Oh, that one looks pretty. Cardinal looks pretty. I mean, they all do, but... Oh, this one with the Roadrunner. I guess, um... That's supposed to be a coyote. There you go, Michelle. That would make sense. I, I do like... I do like that. Um... But, oh my gosh. Yeah, these are super pretty. I'm really digging that owl, though. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay. So, we have been on an animal journey today. <laughs> Mostly birds and horses, but we did have a, a nice other variety of animals in this one. So, yeah, it's just been an animal kind of day. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will put, again, all the links as usual in the description. I will go ahead and link to the Dover Facebook page. I would highly recommend, like I said, if you're a fan of Dover, and you use Facebook um, to follow their page, that's a good place to look at for just random sales. That's how I found the sale for these. Um, and I guess I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.